We're sharing all of Central Florida's stories connecting generations through culture, lifestyle, and the issues of our time. I'm your host, Shannon Green, and this is The Bridge. And who are you today? I am Ronan the Accuser, Supreme Judiciary Officer of the Cree Empire. Megacon Orlando. Thousands of fans gather here each year at the Orange County Convention Center to nerd out with their favorite characters in the genres of anime, comics, and gaming, just to name a few. We caught up with two different cosplayers from two different perspectives to get the inside scoop on what this world of cosplay is all about. Brian Dole, or Ronan the Accuser, is an experienced competitor on the hunt for his first big win. Talia Prescott, is an experienced seamstress, but she's competing for the first time in cosplay as Padme Amidala. It's like his thigh high. Mm, put it on your kinky boots. The right shoe. I used to make fun of cosplayers. You know, it wasn't, uh, it was something that, you know, we grew up with uh, making Halloween costumes and things like that, but I never saw it as something that, you know, an adult would uh, take place in. and. Uh, I used to make fun of them so bad, like, oh, who does that? And then one day I was playing Halo, and uh, I had a, we had a con coming up that I was going to be going to anyway, and I was like, you know what? Might be fun, you know, I'm crafty. We might, you know, put together a Halo suit. So I did it, and um, the first time I put it on, it was just like, ooh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, uh... So Brian, what is cosplay? That's kind of tough to sum up. It's not just being in a costume. Cos cosplay is a lifestyle for people like us. It's, this takes months of planning and just, you know, it's year, you know, a year sometimes and it takes up a lot of our free time. It's more than just a hobby. It, you know, the word cosplay almost sounds goofy, but it's, it's, it's really, a, it's almost a religion for some people. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Cosplay is crazy. <laughs> it's actually a micro computer inside here that controls the, the LEDs. So they kind of chase around the whole thing. Look at that. Wow, this is amazing. About 180 LEDs in there. So how much does it cost to build an outfit like this? Uh, this cost me probably somewhere to the tune of 600-ish, something like that. It's pretty expensive. It is, yeah. A lot of it is, uh, these LEDs are very expensive. So how did you come up with the idea of the character that you are this year in cosplay, Ronin? Villains are just, they're just better characters. Um, I'm not a bad guy, but I feel like in the comics, in the movies even, in everything, the villains always have a better story. You see the heroes every day, and, but the villains are always something new. This year I am doing a Star Wars cosplay, Queen Amidala, just as a seamstress, just as, as a designer myself, like just that the design is just so beautiful, I wanted to do something. So I was gonna do it anyways, and my dad's like, well, you should compete. Like, yeah, that's a lot of work. I should definitely, you know, put it out there. So, um, so I decided to and submitted, and so now I'm gonna do it, it's exciting. Probably didn't spend more than $200. Oh, wow. Probably much less than that, to think about it, yeah. It's drywall, I mean, it's stuff that I, I find a lot of stuff that I had. These are some pieces of Ikea cu cutting board. And like I said, I'm a seamstress, so I had a lot of the fabrics and materials and paints and stuff. I have all that. This is a pool noodle under here. This is just regular 1B braiding hair from the store. Oh, I know about 1B. <laughs> okay, so there's 1B. <laughs> 1B in here, that's all just solid, just kinaclon fiber. So I'm wondering, in this day and age of female empowerment, we're seeing all the movements happening. Have you noticed that the outfits changing um, in cosplay throughout the years? Yeah, actually, that's, that's, a, that's a good point because this year specifically I've seen that because a lot of times uh, cosplay for women is very one-dimensional. It's, it's very sexual often, it's just very exposing. It's a lot of video game characters and anime characters which are really scantily clad oftentimes. But um, women are getting into gaming, and that's been a huge thing. Women are getting into the fandoms as well, and that's changing. What did you do to the prince? Who needed the prince? Woo! True that, babies. There was a girl who made a power loader, which is this really great mechanical robot machine 
from Aliens, it's really amazing and her work was incredible. And you know, she was wearing, she's fully clothed. So it's, women are coming up and we're coming into this world, which we've always been there, but now we're just kind of being noticed. It's great. Being a veteran doesn't mean anything. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm definitely nervous. <laughs> Every year it always comes down to the last, very last second when you walk out on stage. But once you're getting, once you get in character and you're out there and just let it go. You speak of the dance of this the day of your reckoning. Today is Saturday. <laughs> Today is the day that you all face the justice of the Korean. How fierce was the competition? Unbelievable! It was incredible. Yeah, it was pretty, I mean, I, uh, pretty fierce. we it got here tough. and we're like, "What?" Yep. <laughs> like it was. It's amazing. like there's a few costumes that uh, I didn't even see all day. Like, where where they come from? Oh crap! Yeah, <laughs> that was my thing. I was like, like, "Wait a minute! Where have you been hiding all day? I didn't see you here. <laughs> where did this giant piece?" Like, come I was from? feeling really good until I just <laughs> exactly. came in this room. <laughs> you know, I, felt the same. I felt the same way. Wait, you're a novice? Well, I don't know about that. So our best masters goes to Brian Doles. Will you come back and do this again? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of expected. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. For a little while, I was like, nope, I don't want to do this again. This was so scary. But now I'm like, no, I'd definitely do it again, for yeah. sure. We have an idea already, me and Corey. Everyone has a different path to Masters of Cosplay. For me, it was learning about what exactly it was. And what did I learn today? It's a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and there's a lot of teamwork involved, too.